<sighs> okay, okay. I need. Just, oh, I'm sorry. I gotta scoot you over just a tad bit. I'm that in view. There we go. And do this. I uh, need to put this on. So that way I can hear the game. I am going to be setting up a new setup with this so that way everything. Oh, yeah, I need to turn my. I need to click the control. Alright. The cool thing is, I can play this game wirelessly now. I got the Bluetooth adapter finally, so I can actually play games on my PC without having a fucking wire connected to it at all times. I don't have to get a new controller, I just needed a Bluetooth adapter. It was going to be a hell of a lot cheaper in both ends. What's this? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, this! I saw this yesterday, but I wasn't going to look into it. Something new came out yesterday. I was going to uh, stream yesterday, but I honestly didn't feel like it when I got home from work. Thunder Sojourn. Don't even know if I said that right. Oh, and sorry if you guys are hearing stuff in the background. It's because there's um, a streamer that I'm lurking at. Sounds kind of funny. Well, before I actually continue this, let's do my dailies. And three of them are literally next to each other. You see that shit? I love it when it snows. The world falls completely silent. There's yeah, something I, I haven't done. Disturbed. I'm very nearsighted. I have to take my glasses off and take a look at small thumbnails. I don't know what the hell this one is. Yeah, the one, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a redhead. Channels recommended for you, and they keep recommending that stuff to me. Is that... That looks like narrator. But it's not. I know it's not because narrator... Is blonde, I think, still. Give me just a moment. I gotta make sure everything is working on this end. Before I continue, just in case... Everything seems to sound fine for now. There are leaves around. And, and so far, hopefully nothing will crash like the, uh, the last time I was streaming. Give me just a moment. I'm going to sit here for a sec. And try to get people to know that I'm on... Oh, I got somebody following me on Twitter now. <laughs> just because they posted it on there just now.
Okay, doesn't look like I can post it on there yet. Well, continuing on from here. Let's do my dailies! Fully upgraded Kazua, almost to level 90. I just need a couple more books to get him to 90 and everything will be good. It was going to be uh, Zhong Li that was going to be my next 90. But it's going to be Kazuo because he's my main, second main character now. Uh, he's not second place main, he's my main main. My, ma my uh, second main is now Kashin. She was my number one main, but now they're both my mains. I have to have two more mains. Zhong Li is a good one to have as a, um, a shield, but I want him to do damage too. And if he can't, if I can't get him to do damage, I may have to trade him out for somebody else. Leave it to me. Was that not her with the daily? I think I accepted a different <laughs> mission. I wasn't paying attention until I realized what happened just now. <laughs> this music sounds so close to... Hopefully you guys can think the same thing. Very close to... Um, what's that game called? Uh, Mass Effect. Like when you're in the menu or... Um, going to a new world. Oops. Good, he went back. Thank God these guys didn't see me yet. I am going to fight them in just a second so I can get the stuff for his talents. And I should say he's not going to be fully upgraded. I'm going to have him fully upgraded once I get his talents all the way up. I need it. I need to collect 2,000 pieces of wood. Alright, go back over here. that or put it in place supplies just submit give I need to make more of that shit or buy gonna do the flying thing but I guess not because that meant whoa what's going on oh I gotta melt that. Alright, you gotta switch characters. Sorry, Chung Yun. Chung Yun. You're being switched out with Let's the loot. Let's finish this. Swift. That's 
not what I hit. I'm just about to start freezing to death. <laughs> Finished it. The snowy mountain. Right there. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Let me go to this anyway. I gotta heal up my characters. I think. New weather all around, right in the heart. No, I didn't really need to, but it did help. Follow the wind. Follow the wind. <laughs> Don't know why he fell instead of jumping. <laughs> I was about to run out of stamina anyway. And do this. Come on. There you go. Wind strike. And down we go. One with nature. Oh, I got him still good. The wind knows. Yeah, I thought there was something over here. Oh, I froze. Gotta grab a lot of this stuff still. Alright, please, spreading evil is... It's not. It's not gonna be treasure hoarders. Damn it. I want the treasure hoarders. I need to do a lot of fighting to the treasure hoarders. So that way I can level up this guy's talents. they would be. Usually spreading evil is um, hilly trolls. Honestly, I didn't mean to push that. It was subconsciously. Probably because yesterday I was helping some a friend of mine out with um, getting um, the stuff for her Kazua. Come here. Gotcha. A big slab of meat. Oh, I can't grab it. Thought I. I'm thinking of Breath of the Wild. He's doing this much damage without his sword. Well then. Time to get his sword back. I was using Kashing a lot too, so I tried her out with the sword. Son of a bitch. Ugh. This seems like a straight shot to it. Seems is the key word. Stroll in the middle of a downpour certainly rouses the spirit. 
But it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible after the rain stops. Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Hey guys, how's it going? Stitch. My name's Stitch. <laughs> Wait, is this it? Oh. something else for a second. Oh no, now it's starting to rain. Oh no. Hey, you're still alive. Reinforcements. Oh, and him too. Taking a stroll in the middle of a downpour certainly rouses the spirit. But it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible. There's the reinforcements. Oh, you're the water one. Seriously? What he's saying. There you go, now the shield's gone. You know what? I'll go after this guy. Ow. Oh, he's about to die. Stabilize. <laughs> I didn't realize I was playing around too much with him. Wait a second. Is, was that my last one? Yes. Yes, it was. Fuck. Well, since I'm right next to him, I might as well do it so I can kill two birds with one stone. And get out of that quest. I was trying to get out of the quest, not get into the quest. Clear weather all around. Brightens the heart. Dude, shut up. Now you're just getting annoying. Add Astra at. Add Astra Sevelsus. Add Astra Abyssa. Three and a half hours left. Oh. Itch my foot. Oh, now it starts there. Oh, yeah, I got, uh, Chubby should be here. Funny name for them, Chubby and Tubby. Why is that new, but there's no thing over it? That's what it is. Okay. I need to sit up a little bit so I can see the bottom of my screen. Oh, let me move this too. My iPad is on top of a cup. Got two more. Goodbye. Never have any questions about the realm with it. Who cares about what you say, Tubby? Oh, he's not here yet. He's not here yet. Wait, does he move actually? 
Yes, he moved. He's over here. That's weird. Uh, this way. Okay. I didn't know he would actually move. Maybe he's going to start being randomized. There it is. The one before you isn't for sale. Puppies. Okie dokie. No. The one before you is no Goodbye. Again, that which you try. Kind of weird it shows nothing is happening for the desktop audio but you guys can still hear it it's kind of odd and where's inazuma right here okay i was heading back over here i think go to the statue of seven anyway since i need to heal up kazua and uh continue the story wait a second i, I think i should um something else I'll take a look at that later statues blessings okay I don't have to set it it's already set and let's continue the story which is way over there Teleporting! While I'm teleporting, I'll grab this. Ah. Oops. Almost dropped the can. Oh, I just had to move up it a little bit. Let's see. What is the person Ayaka told us about? Why are you doing this? Why leave all of a sudden after all these years? Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. That must be the guy Ayaka told us about. Let's go over and see. How about we don't? And that continue the story. You must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. Tejima what has happened? protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Is he Keeping that old? the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near, resolving quarrels between the villagers. He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place, and we all think the world of him. But now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. We can't help but wonder. Was it something we did? I we will gladly apologize if that's the case. No. All we want is for him to stay. I think he's being paid to leave. Making sure I'm looking at the right name. So, why the change? If you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt Decree. It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong, and still they confiscated his vision. After that, he became a completely different person. I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone. 
circled the village a few times, and then out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do, but equally, it doesn't feel right to let him leave when he's in this state. He's a lost soul. It seems like he's a well-respected guy around here. Why are you leaving? You must be Tejima. So what's made you want to up and leave all of a sudden? Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. Would... Uh, you've lived here for a long time. Everyone depends on you. True. But that's not why I chose to stay here. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Oh. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like oh. a slice of my memory is gone. In the past, I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, no shit, you're alive. Oh, maybe if you just try little harder to remember then it'll all come flooding back oh that reminds me last time i brought tejima some fruit i do believe i saw him writing in a diary mm, i keep a diary if you say so i honestly can't seem to remember oh yes yes you do he and definitely shouldn't more, leave. I remember you saying if he's got that bad of a memory, you wanted to make a note of a few interesting things, things which would prove very important at a later date. Like Perfect. right now. So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we just need to find his diary. It must be around here somewhere. Let's take a look. In his if house. You don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. We should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation. Oh, um, not to leave, but his memory being bad is what I would be telling everybody. Hey, everybody, his memory's gone bad. Keep an eye on him. Make sure nothing stupid happens with him. What do I do? Oh, I go over here. I guess no. There it is. I found it. Oh, I thought it was a dig, that log. This looks like Tejima's diary, all right. Let's see what we have here. Today, the villagers and I got together to cook dried raised salted fish. I messed up and burned mine a little, so I had to pretend that it was black snake head instead. No. Today, I helped rescue <coughs> a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon before finding out that Bamboo was the name of his pet crab. No. I went kite flying today. The string broke, so I chased <laughs> after it as fast as I could. I soon realized I was never going to get it back, so I just found somewhere to sit and watch as it flew away into the distance. <laughs> Seems like your average diary of daily village life. Huh? Wait, there's more! I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for. Time to pay a visit to the shrine! Speaking of a shrine, you're slowly zooming in on one right there. Unless that was the shrine that they was talking about. I thought they were talking about, like, wherever that, that shrine over there. So this is the Omamori 
Ultima wrote about. I keep forgetting about the interesting. Thing. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy? Yes. It's called the meaning of the meaningless weight. Where'd he go? Okay, so what's actually telling me to come over here? Here. Huh. So the reason Kejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years. Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? Well, let's go give Kejima his stuff back and take it from there. Okay. What does this have to do? Oh, yeah, I'm doing this for. What's her face? The, the new character that's out. Where'd he go? Well, he moved. Well, I'll be. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me, too. But I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here. That I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. <sighs> and just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. 30 years feels like the blink of an eye. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Ow. Now that I think about it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been hollowed out. Love, regret, everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. Does that make you feel sad? No, not especially. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face. Her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. Did she die? It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. So do you still plan on leaving? I think maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Although, I was gonna say, what if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? When I think about it like that, I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Andy. Why am I thinking like this? I don't even remember who I she see is. You. It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. 
I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Kejima seems to be dealing okay, but still, it makes Paimon really sad. Yeah, me too. Losing a reason to feel sad is maybe the saddest thing of all. No, it's not. Losing a reason to be sad, it shouldn't be sad. It should be a good thing. I'll just say, yeah, me too. It seems it's just like Ayaka and Tomo were saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. No. That certainly explains the state Tejimo was in earlier. At least it just we makes were it that much harder. Him, weren't we? <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. It just makes it tougher to do that because you don't have an advantage Sato, anymore. The second one who lost their vision is a samurai from the Tenryo Commission. A samurai? <laughs> a samurai, you say? Ah, different clothing. Well, his looked the same. Hers is definitely different. I it's land. Makes they it sound like it's Sora and Kyrie. Controlled by the Shogun. They're the ones responsible for maintaining law and order in Inazuma. The ones actually enforcing the Vision Hunt decree. But why would they take action against one of their own? Uh, Paimon doesn't get it. Huh? Probably because he was willing to. There's a commotion over there. Let's go see what's happening. No. I'll ask one more time. Do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions? The entire clan is counting on that food. We demand an explanation. Okay, How I many times do I have to say it? I don't know anything about emergency provisions. You dare deceive us? Those provisions are essential. Do you understand? Not some goods to be pocketed by greedy samurai. You samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this. Emergency provisions. Like emergency food? <laughs> and who are you? One of Kurosawa's gang, no doubt. Uh, what? We just happened to be passing by. We heard the commotion and came to see what the matter was. I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. Perhaps you can help us settle this matter. This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for distribution. In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. Now, he suddenly refuses to give us anything. He's keeping the provisions for himself. I just know it. We'll starve without them. No one seems to care about us. We used to think Kurosawa was a kind man, but he's shown his true colors. He's the same as all the other samurai. It's no wonder all the visions have been confiscated. The Raiden Shogun doesn't need people like him helping her rule the nation. This must be one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. But why would she ever want us to help someone like him? Maybe we should talk to Kurosawa yeah, and no see shit. what he has to say. He actually doesn't have the stuff. Or it's so low he can't even uh, give it out evenly. Something like that. I mean, like, there's always a reasoning behind that kind of thing, and they won't let him. I've never even Explain heard it. of these emergency provisions. Oh. He lost his memory? Rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way, it's ridiculous. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? own family can barely get by as it is. No, if you'll excuse me, I've got other matters to attend to. We heard that you lost your vision recently. And that's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. The Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Apparently, I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Well, that's strange. You are helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? To be perfectly honest, 
Uh, I don't seem to remember the details. Yeah, All it's I a know memory loss thing. I perform okay. certain things every month, but I don't recall what they were. And it's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling, like, like someone owes me something. Does it have to do with the missing emergency provisions? I didn't take any. Like I said, if I was taking them for myself, I wouldn't be going through such hard times right now. To top it all off, my house was just raided by treasure hoarders, which is why I came here in the first place. I was chasing after them when I got held up by these two. Nah. If you don't believe me, go find the treasure hoarders yourself. If there were any emergency provisions to be had, they would have found them. Huh. He seems to be telling the truth. But we better confirm. Let's go round up those treasure hoarders and see what they have to say. We should be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone too far. Oh, it's uh, I gotta start looking at the map. Ah, oh, look at another fox. There they are. Oh, he looks so happy. What well, he did for a sec. Oh, the boat! We really outdid ourselves this time. All those samurai houses packed with goods. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Found them. Besides that one house. You haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a lot more where this came from. Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you all on an epic journey of pillage and plunder that will go down in hoarder history. You demand, boss. <laughs> These seem like the treasure hoarders we're after. Let's teach him a lesson. No, let's not teach him a lesson. Let's give them more. Hey guys, how's it going? Ready to fight? Come on, no. You're open. Oh, come on, I hit the button. Nowhere to hide. Oh, I couldn't move anyway. Oh, uh, there goes all the Mora. We worked hard to steal that, you know? <laughs> come on, boss. Think of something. <clears throat> Not bad, kid. You ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? We could use someone like you. Forget it. And tell us what you know about Ko Rosawa. Kurosawa. Uh, not likely. Word has it you looted Kurosawa's house. Kurosawa? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Kurosawa, sorry. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just our luck. I knew we shouldn't have hit that place. So what did you see inside? Was it stuffed with food supplies? Food supplies? <laughs> you kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was a strange looking box, hopefully with valuables inside. I didn't want anyone else to see it, so I was planning on opening it myself once we got back. But now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That little box for our freedom. What do you say? You've got a deal! Now show us what's in the box! I thought we were gonna get. Huh? What the? Th there's nothing in here but IOUs! Yeah. A lot of them, too. And they all seem to be made out to the owner of a general goods store, a Miss Aoi. We're talking tons of Mora here. We better talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. As for you guys, you're free to go. Just pray that our paths don't cross again. Y yes of course. So, we redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh... Does that mean we broke even? No. Shut it. Let's just get out of here. She is a knight. No, she's not a knight. She is a um honorary knight. Technically, it's like an acting knight. 
shouldn't have done that. That can get her into trouble. If caught. Ooh, whew. I thought that was going to be a little one. That was a big burp. Hey, how's it going? Puppy! His name is Pika? Move out of the way. I want to pet Pika. Hey, Pika. When the show starts, you will say Tokunaga. Hurry, the show's a good one. Before I'll show up. I just realized that's not the dog. Pika? See? Oh, so it was for the dog. Pretty funny, right? Well, Pika, tell him if that's funny. Wagging tail. <laughs> I'm glad I came over to see Pika. Fuck. Move out of the way, names. He, he just said the name for me. I was just about to read it out loud. Okay, here's... Here's the, uh, forgery. How can I improve my culinary skills? Ah, food. Kitty! Hey, Garfield. You're not that fat, but you're, you're a big one. What the hell? I found a cooking station. Detective. I'm supposed to go this way anyway. Huh. Thought I saw something for a sec. What did I just grab? A prince's notice. Uh, notes. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I see what this is now. The tea shop. I hit the wrong button. He's attacking me. Ah. Owie. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. We've got everything you need. Can I help you find something? My dick. Or perhaps there's something you want to inquire about? About these IOUs. Ah, so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it. <laughs> perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. Whoa, oh. whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're just here to learn where they all came from. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the payment on his own account. However, the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough to cover the cost. So, he started writing out IOUs to cover whatever he couldn't afford of the usual amount. So that's mm. how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? If the price is increased, couldn't he just buy less? Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough, especially after such long and careful planning. So he ah. deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. Ah. Uh. Kurosawa was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense. And no one ever appreciated what he did. It's because they didn't he know. He just complained and held him accountable. 
people's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. In the face of hardship, nobody cares to think twice. Uh, if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. No, course, it's, I I'm think sure it'd still, would still be have the same. Some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone, I'm still not too clear myself. If you're still curious, why don't you go ask him yourself? Oh, he, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't remember. I see. That reminds me, it seems that his vision was recently confiscated. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. Sword? What sword? The one on his oh. hip, dumbass. Didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. He's I guess carried it's not it for the years one. now. On his I asked him about his origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father, that it was too precious to sell. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Everything has its price, at least that's what I think. Mm. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Why did it look at the pot? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Oh, but before you go, if you would kindly settle today's bill. What? <laughs> but we didn't buy anything. <laughs> Information is also a kind of commodity, wouldn't you agree? Uh. Don't worry. I won't charge much for information about Kurosawa. Nothing we ever discussed was explicitly confidential anyway. Oh, let me think. 2,000 Mora should be a fair price. No, cheaper. At least fair we now enough. know where the emergency provisions are coming from. Plus, we found out that Kurosawa has a priceless sword in his possession. Let's go talk to Kurosawa again and see if he can remember anything. So taking visions away makes them lose their memory. Time to go. What are you doing? Doesn't look like it's knocking. Hey, Aizawa. Whatever your name is. Um, what are you doing here all by yourself? Where did those other two go? I presented them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. No. Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Everything I said was true, right? Actually... That just about sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions. But they were all purchased at your own expense. Strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? I really don't understand. But I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away, I could sense that my body was somehow reluctant to do so. This sword, mind if we take a look? And this sword was once wielded by my father. And so it is the I one on your head. Once when I was young, I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door. My father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he say? <sighs> I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So many memories gone. Forever. No matter how hard I try to remember, all I can remember now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed. Before he passed away, he placed the sword in my hands 
and said to me, with this sword, you should. <sighs> hey, if you look carefully, there seems to be some words engraved on the hilt. Can you recognize the words? Words are virtue and justice. Virtue and justice? Somehow those two words seem to explain everything now. <laughs> Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. But what use of virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. And look how things ended up. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help refused to understand me. And the irony of all of it is, I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. I'm incapable of being a good person, yet I'm equally unable to be bad. I... I don't know what to do with myself. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. In any case, Maybe. We must never let him sell off that sword. Losing a vision is no trifling matter. Yeah. Seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Fortunately for us, you don't have a vision. Let's go find the next poor soul. <laughs> to be honest, is this are, are these visions connected to your memory the second you get it? And the second you lose it... Wait, hold on. And the second you lose it, you lose all the memory from the day you got it? Seems like it was literally just right Time here. I was literally just right next to it. What the fuck? taken is supposed to be a famous sword master around these parts. Hyman heard that he's the present day master of make your shisui art. That don't Sounds know pretty that impressive. This is his dojo. Luckily there's some people around. Let's go talk to them. Nanako, don't worry. Since they will be fine. Junya. Those thugs that challenged the dojo were strong, but he fought them all off in the end, didn't he? Maybe, but I'm still worried about him. Things have gotten dangerous before in the past, but it's never shaken him. This time, though... <sighs> it's just because he's been possessed, that's all. Once the exorcism has taken place, he'll be right as rain in no time. Hey there! Did we need something Chongyun. happen? Who are you? Don't care whether you're trespassers or just here to harass us while Sensei is impaired. Get out of here immediately! No. Don't make me draw my blade, or you won't live to regret it. Yeah, no! Then draw it. You got it so wrong. Um, we just came here to. Uh... We're here to become disciples. Disciples? Uh, yep, yep. We've heard all about the mighty master of Make Your Shisui Art. It's the whole reason we came all this way to seek him out and ask him to train us. But then we got here and overheard you talking about how he got possessed or something? Hmm. From the way you're dressed, it doesn't look like you're from around here. Please, no. accept my apologies. We've had so many people trying to cause us trouble recently that we're on high alert. Mm. You haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. Since they got possessed recently, and he's still recovering. He's not able to take on any new disciples for the time being. We can wait till he's recovered. I'm not going back until I call him my sensei. We I can wait. see you are earnest in your pursuit. <sighs> okay, how about this? My fellow disciple Nanako and I will explain sensei's situation to you in a little more detail. Then you can decide whether to stay or to leave. Sensei's name is Domon. A name I'm sure you've already heard. Though self-taught, 
He mastered the art of the sword to a high level. He then proceeded to defeat many other prominent sword masters, never losing a single fight. He once said that his goal was to become the best sword master in the world. And so, even while training us, he continued to hone his own art. His fervor truly inspired us, and we trained hard, determined to keep up with him. But then... Not long ago, Sensei had his vision taken away. He hasn't been the same since. He says the strangest things over and over, and he refuses to let us train. Junya and I have discussed it, and, and we both think that he's been possessed by an evil spirit. So we've asked the Shrine Maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine to perform an exorcism. But if I'm honest, I still have my doubts over whether he'll completely recover. The He's Grand not going to. Kami Shrine? What's that? You haven't heard of it? It's the largest shrine on Narukami Island. The head shrine maiden is reputed to have very close ties with the almighty Shogun herself. Not that we'd have any means of involving the head shrine maiden, of course. But even one of the ordinary shrine maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine would have clear power and authority to perform an exorcism. So don't worry, Nanako. Sensei is going to be just fine. The exorcism will take place this evening. You're both more than welcome to come and watch if you're interested. So, losing your vision can cause possession? No. I uh, guess we should come back this evening and see for ourselves. He's just lost his memory and they assume it's a possession. It's a, it's the memory loss yokai. Wasn't that a thing in the in the in the, in the show? Oh, I actually gotta wait. Well, in that case, since I'm gonna have to wait, look around for a sec before I hit the clock. All right. What, what time? 1800. Oh, would you look at that? I wonder what that is. That looks interesting. Wherever in this world I have an idea. How many primo gems did I get? I got enough for one. I have enough to get another one with those five. But how many do I have? I have three, so that'll make it four. I would really like to get the spear. Customized path. Not customized, this whatever. Oh. This thing again. Okay. It's new, so I didn't realize what it was. I think I'll hold off on it. Uh, a bit so you now. decided to come. It's a good thing you didn't arrive any earlier. You would have had to witness Sensei one of his fits of madness. Just now, when Nanako was attending to him, she heard him whispering a few names to himself. When she asked him who the people were, he suddenly looked panic-stricken and pushed her away. It looked like he was in great distress. He was covering his ears and looking frantically around him with bloodshot eyes. All the while we kept calling those names. Some of them we knew. Others we didn't recognize. But they all seemed to be the names of sword masters he had defeated in the past. One of them was Anzai. He used to be a fellow disciple of Sensei's. His senior, in fact. But Sensei defeated him in a duel many years ago. And he has been a wanderer ever since. Sensei wouldn't stop calling his name. <sighs> hmm. Thankfully, the Shrine Maid has managed to subdue him, so the exorcism can finally continue. The ritual has now begun. All we can do is patiently await the result. Here's hoping Sensei will be back to his normal self very soon. Please, excuse me for a moment while I fetch some water. If he wakes up, he is sure to be thirsty. Pylon? Is that him? Someone else. Who's that sneaking around? Uh oh. 
Did they be here to mess up the exorcism? We won't let them get away with it. Come on, let's go after them. Did she even see him? Seems they aren't here. Yeah, no Should shit. We keep going for the rug? Yes. up with me so quickly are you sure you're Dom Wong's disciples you move even quicker than he does <laughs> unless I guess it's been a few years maybe his skills have improved again um excuse me we're the ones asking the questions here first off who are you and what are you doing sneaking around these parts you seem like bad news, mister! <laughs> bad news? <laughs> I'll have you know I trained side by side with Domon back in the day. Long before you ever showed up. I don't care to talk about that time anymore. But if you must know, I am Domon's senior. His senior? Oh, his what? dad. That means you must be... His daddy. Anzai. Yes, that's me. Or not, never mind. Thought he was saying he was senior. Why did you run? Because I don't wish to see Dolmon or anyone else associated with him ever again. When we were young, we trained under the same sword master, studying Make Yoshi Sui art together. I had begun training five years before him, and everyone looked up to me as a steady and dependable older disciple. Practitioners of Make Yoshi Sui art seek to achieve stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. So the majority of disciples are indifferent to rank and reward. I was no exception. No, I don't mind the lurk. Domon was different. I don't know how long it's been there. First Sorry. thing he did when he joined was go straight to if our it's been sensei there for a while. and ask him, with a beaming smile on his face, how to become the best in the world. Sensei scolded him told him that the art of the sword should not be used for such vain ends. Sensei said that coveting the title of the best sword master, barely days into his training, showed that he had a fickle mind, and that this would impede him from ever mastering the blade. I thought so too at the time, but Domon began making swift progress in his training, and even started catching up with me. Only then did I realize that it was Dobon who had long since freed his mind from all agitation. He was consumed by his singular desire to become the best in the world. He sought nothing less than perfection in the art of the sword, and nothing could deter him from this goal, no matter what stood in his way. Sure sounds like he meant business. So how come you don't want to ever see him again? Because until he arrived, I was convinced that I would succeed our sensei as the master of Mekyo Shisui art. Huh. Of the disciples, <coughs> I was the most gifted. I had trained the longest. Everyone had high expectations for me. Domon's arrival changed everything. When we sparred, I lost not just the match, but my pride and my status too. I fled the dojo that day and never looked back. Later, I heard that he sparred with Sensei, too. Sensei was advanced in years by then, and unfortunately, that match used up every last ounce of energy in his body. After that, I wanted nothing further to do with him. How's it going, boy? Deep down, though, I still respected his mastery of the blade and his commitment to the art of the sword. So, when I heard rumors that he had lost his mind, my first reaction was to dismiss them as false. How could he, of all people, have lost his mind? His mind was the sharpest of them all. He had practiced Make Yoshi Sui art to perfection. I decided to quietly come and see if it were true. Then, to my complete astonishment, I heard him call my name. 
I thought mine was a name he had long since forgotten. So you see, I came here not to cause him any harm. I just wanted to see for myself. Okay, you've heard my story. You should get back now. The exorcism is probably finishing. Seems like we got it wrong this time. He wasn't here to mess up the exorcism at all. Still, Paimon's not sure we should bring him back with us. Uh, let's go see how the exorcism's coming along. Give me just a moment. Where's my mouse right here? I gotta do something real quick. It'll be just a moment. do this stuff real quick that's what the notification was so that way I could wonderful. do this surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer I hate these advertisements they get in the way Okay, so he's playing Yakuza. Zero. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them. Ah, shit, where'd mine go? Here. Right here. Is he not a part of this? I'm gonna put down a friend. Why ain't it working? What the hell? I know he, I know this guy is a part of it. Oh, I put S not D. Maybe that's why things aren't going well. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. I gotta go through a list. Just a moment. I guess it's... I don't even know if he's a part of this. Uh, where's this? There it is. Oh, this guy is playing some I don't even there like watching. Around. Okay, and now I'm coming back. The tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Ah, hey, Lord Yoshi, what's going on? Sorry, I was uh, just working on something real quick. So you ch check first. Uh, <laughs> Wind strike. And down we go. What? You're saying he isn't possessed? No, he's just lost his memory. He's just lost his mind. But how, how is that possible? No. Ah, no, thank I you for the follow. Something's clearly wrong. Dia. Monaco. Dies. Blood. Try not to get blood demon. Uh, blood demon. I can find no sign Am I saying that right? malignant spirit having possessed Domon. It's Dia Blood Mun. 
Oh, it's supposed to be Diablo Demon. Oh, okay, Diablo Demon. Oh! Okay, okay, now I see it. <laughs> I completely see it now. Now that that little dash helped out. <laughs> but spirits may take a myriad of forms in this world, many of which I cannot claim to have witnessed myself. Thus, I dare not rule out possession with complete certainty. And all Kagome? Certainly not lost. She I looks like Kagome with that outfit. That Lady Yara that Kagome? In she was in school case. girl outfit. The other one. Lady Yai? That Inuyasha was is in love with. I forget her name. The same Lady Yai that I think you mean? The head shrine maiden of the Grand Narukami Shrine? That's wonderful news. The Kikio, yes, thank you. <laughs> Correct. Lady Yai is most knowledgeable indeed. It's been a long time since I watched Inuyasha. I didn't really like the show. The movies were awesome, though. Much better than the show. Evil spirit has possessed your sensei, but Lady Yai can give a conclusive verdict. Is she a bow user? Excuse me, Miss Inagi, but I must ask: Should we prepare a greeting gift for Lady Yai? That won't be necessary. All that is required of you is your timely <laughs> arrival at the Grand Narukami Shrine. We just Lady need to Yai see Kilala. I must leave now. I forget but her owner's name. The, shrine, I wish Domon a full and the guy with cover. the black hole on his hand. I have forgotten so many characters' names. Who'd have thought Lady Yai herself would have taken notice of our He's the priest. Case. He has a cane, Do you I think. Mean to say that Sensei isn't cane. renowned enough to deserve Lady Yai's attention? God, I need to watch that series again no, so no. I can learn these guys' That's names not what again. I at all. You misunderstand. Shishomaru. I just mean In he a fox Yai, demon? Or is he a dog demon just like the other uh, Inuyasha? The Almighty Shogun herself. Uh, um, anyway, you should join us too tomorrow. Given that you've traveled remember. all this way just to meet our sensei, we, the disciples of Mikio Shisui Sweetheart, would do our best to help you. I will gladly join you. Sure. I haven't paid I attention to anything they said. excited about Lady Yai. We're curious to meet her too. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find out a thing or two about the ride and children from her. Oh, that's real far. Okay, good thing I checked the map. Okay, so... Oh, you left. Oh, you want to go uh, lay down next to Andy. <laughs> he uh, wants to stay warm. <laughs> Cats are very strange animals. Apparently, I just learned that if it... I thought he was... Thievul for a second. I thought they put a Pokemon in this, and I was about to, uh... <laughs> Be like, um, apparently they had a crossover before we even knew about crossovers. <laughs> oh, that's not what I thought it was. It was this. Okay. This is so cool. I love that ability. It's so cool. Grab you. Nope. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I'm, ah, I fell. I did that too late. I was gonna drop down and then do this. Oh, it's practically invisible. Okay, I like, I really like Inazuma so far. Look at, what the f fuck is this? Am I at the spot that? Is it up? This is the great. No, it's this one. It is up. Directly above me. I can't 
see. What is that? A Naku weed. Another Naku weed. I wonder if these are one of those limited items that show up at random. Looks like it'll be easier to climb this first. Who knows, maybe I'll find some of those weeds. These can break. Just making sure I don't need a fire type. They're amethyst. Amp amp they're amethyst lumps. Okay. Well, it makes sense because the color. Look at beetle. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Probably just lamp. Ooh, I see, uh, Electro... Electro-Oculus up there. I was, I could not remember the name of it for a sec. I was about to say, what the fuck is that? It's one of those teleporting things. Okay, that was Ross. The previous game, Grump. I say that with a lot of confidence because he's more than likely not going back to the game, Grumps. Even though he does appear in the show a lot. Still. He was just in the show recently as a video game character. Which was kind of funny because he was the villain, apparently. I missed. Okay, so that still works. Good. What? Oh, you actually gotta stab it with the electricity? I thought it disappeared. I was gonna say, you actually gotta stab it with the electricity or it disappears permanently? <laughs> down oh there it is I wish I didn't have to keep hold uh, doing that just hold the button down what the fuck there's a bird right here I was going to kill them. I was going to see if they were good meat. <laughs> Sounds like a crow. There's butterflies around. Damn it. But I can't grab any of them. Riku. Or Raiku. This is R-I. Oh, wow. Ooh. Nice.
I don't know what this means. I see this a lot. Shows, real life things and stuff like that. I haven't really put two and two together yet because I've only seen a few of them. No, let me try again. Are they always next to shrines like this? Okay, I'm going the right way. So I'm going to go the wrong way. And nothing over here. Nope. Whoa, who popped up in front of me? Did she? It sounded like she said whacking off. Do you think that's Lady Yai? Oh, oh her. No wonder Junyu is so excited. She has a really striking presence. Also, no, that's not who I thought it was. Or did she look right at us just now? Eh, it was probably nothing. It's not like she's ever seen us before. She knows who we are. Keep away. Keep away from me. Yeah, it was Ross I again. I the art of the sword. Please, let me go, I beg you. As you can see, Lady Yai, Domon has persisted in this state for some time now. He appears to see those who have lost to him in duels past. Electric user. all around him to persecute him. Lady Yai, it Are must be a possession, ears? right? This is nothing like him at all. In the past, no matter what came his way, he would always face it with a, a confident smile. Hmm. I'm sorry. It is clear to me that your sensei is not possessed by any evil spirit. But... Then d does that mean he... Hmm. Yes. This is a change in the person himself. Unable to cope with the tremendous pressure he was under, he suffered a spiritual collapse. With his wits impaired, he finally descended into madness mm -hmm. as one who is thrown into the sea though he fights back desperately against his predicament it does nothing to prevent his descent into the depths as for what has triggered this change i believe it must be the loss of his vision for to be stripped of one's vision is to be stripped of one's ambition stripped of his ambition but lady yai even without Whoops. his ambition why should he suffer such a dramatic change how does that explain his descent into madness? Give me just a moment. I see something that I couldn't see a second ago. It says, reading with a party of eight. Oh, it was barely on the screen. And nothing scrolled down and... What the hell? It did scroll down. I barely saw it with, um... With, uh, I saw a number just poking on underneath the, the border of the top and it said viewers and I'm like wait a sec is that something I didn't see <laughs> thanks for the raid load Yoshi I even though I saw you on here thank you for following Diablo Demon yeah okay that I did see um, I'm terribly sorry I missed it if you're watching still and there's wait another oh, give me a sec I see some let me scroll through this real quick. Oh, okay. It's just, uh, it says, is rating with a party of eight. And then it says, Steam Labs. Okay. Sorry about that. I just saw it. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't see it. I keep thinking your symbol is something to do with uh, Overwatch. It looks like Tracer. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Okay, here we go. Your school practices Back to the game. Shisui art, does it not? Stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. <laughs> what a fine notion that would be if any in this world could ever hope to achieve it. There was once one who claimed to be indifferent to rank and reward and who fled enraged when defeated by his junior. And then there was an aged swordmaster who was aggrieved enough that he crossed blades with a disciple he himself had taught. Then, what of the one who crossed blades with his own sensei and beloved fellow disciple, and defeated them both? <laughs> Can one truly remain unagitated of still mind in moments such as these? 
Lady, I, I, I'm not sure I understand. Uh, the path of the sword masters filled with twists and turns. It is no small undertaking to pursue the position of greatest sword master in the world. It requires one to take their sword firmly in both hands and cut down the hopes and dreams of others. Even those of one's closest companions. Only a deep commitment to his ambition to become the best made it possible for him to rise above the pain of these encounters. Like ears. To focus on the way ahead. When that ambition disappeared, he began to doubt himself. As he battled his growing anxiety, he slowly descended into the state you see him in now. Is she the same <laughs> race as Sucrose? Much like a certain fatally flawed friend of mine. Poor Sensei. Where the hair to looks like the been ears. Suffering so greatly. I thought it was just Sucrose. It's all my fault. Father. Sensei. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, That's enough. Oh, there he is. Speaking of him. Is that Ante? No. Your mom's womb. Did he follow us the whole way here? Yes. Anzai, why are there two of you? Is that you or a ghost? You're here for revenge, aren't you? I knew it would come. I never should have. You're right to assume that my feelings towards you are far from kindly. <sighs> but I didn't come here to settle a score. It's been so long now that I made peace with it years ago. You did nothing wrong that day. I just... I couldn't face the humiliation. That's why I ran. I like how you, you I hear that. most of the people you beat along the way would hold it against you. It. On the contrary, when you cut our ambition short, we entrusted them to you in the hopes that they might carry you further. Now I know that we can't place our hopes in you any longer, since you've been stripped of your ambitions too. But that is no reason to strip them of theirs. Follow the way of the sword all the way to the highest peak. You taught them that, didn't you? No. But what if one day, the same thing happens to them? I put everything I had into trying to become the best. But what if it was all a huge mistake right from the start? If there's a chance they'll end up like me one day, I'd rather they stay where they are now than go any further down this path. Have you asked them what they think? Sensei. Or if they after care. After you rescued me from the hands of the pirates, I told myself I would follow in your footsteps for the rest of my days. I can't know whether I will suffer in my future as you do now. All I know is that here and now, in the present, I wish to continue. I want to keep going until the day that I can stand before everyone with my head held high and announce that I, like my sensei Domon before me, am a master of Meikyo Shisui art. Nanako's far from the only one. Actually, all of us think that way. Goodness. Well, I... You see? You can place Fuck. the ambition you once had. to get a new chair. I keep sinking. being stripped of your ambition is something that's never happened to me. Like, so I can't I sit like claim this, to understand. And then I slow, it. But I do know what it feels I like sit to like have this, your ambitions and then I crushed. slowly go like this. That's what happened on the day that you so effortlessly defeated me. So, just as I once placed my ambitions onto you, it is time for you to release yours into their custody. You are not in the same position that I was. When I left, I had nothing to my name. But you have a great number of worthy disciples. I... I understand. I'm sorry to have made you worry for me, and for the state of Miyakyo Shisui art. As I no longer have the resolve to become the best in the world. The emptiness and suffering inside of me will not abate, so I cannot hope to still my mind and be free of agitation. But as your sensei, I shall commit to imparting unto you everything I have learned in my life so far. This is my promise. And I humbly ask Anzai, my senior, to hold me to my word. You can count on that. I'd be checking in on you occasionally anyway, just to make sure you hadn't lost your mind again. <laughs> but I am now used to the life of a wanderer. I do not belong in the dojo anymore. So I will simply stop by once in a while to make sure you aren't cutting any corners with them. 
Well, don't just stand there staring at me. Say thank you to Lady Yai and then get yourself back home. No. You get yourself back home. And so even though his ambition was taken away, his disciples can take it over on his behalf. Guess that sort of solves this one, huh? Yeah, we didn't do anything. Yes, it seems as a good of a resolution as we can hope for. Um, maybe I guess I don't know. We couldn't have done worse. That's for sure. Shadler, a moment, please. Lady Yai has some words for you. Ah, oh, shit. Am so, I in trouble? My intuition was correct. The wind that blows from afar carries fresh life to these shores. For us to meet now is premature. Nevertheless, you set foot on these islands at precisely the right moment. Uh-huh. Hmm. There it goes. I have high hopes for you, child. Don't disappoint me. Dot, dot, dot. Interval. Ooh, Lady Yai seems to have taken a real interest in you. She seems super mysterious. I'm so curious what she really meant by all that. Hmm. We can come back to it another time. For now, we should go report back to Miss Kamisato. Kamisato. <sighs> Obtained four books. I thought I'd grab those. Sacred Sakura. It's a dragon! I think. It could be a fox. Uh, these these guys make the dragon head. Uh, not just these guys. I think it is a fox. People like to draw the dragons and the fox's head shapes very similar. If not looking exactly the same. It was 3 out of 25. Reward. Oh, it's just like the one in the dragon spine. You get two of these on the second level. Oh, yes, I gotta get that. Speaking of which. How many days do I have left for this? I have 16 and a half days left of this. I'm gonna be doing this because apparently the rewards... I had to make sure I hit the right button. Is yes, it is the crown. I need to collect a bunch of these. I need to get a minimal. What was it? One for each level. How many? Three. So it's fifteen. You know, it's easier if I do this. 15 times 4. That would be 60. I need 60 in total for my team to be maxed out in their talents. Don't know if they're going to be used for anything else, but I'm using it for their talents to go beyond level 10. Oh, do these make noise? Yeah. Oh, another one. Ha! Oh, I missed. It went away right before. That's. Got the Sakura tree. Sakura tree. I think it's pronounced Sakura. Oh, I didn't grab it. Ha! Goodbye. There we go. Oh, there's a couple of these things here. Ha! Hmm. 
There's one. Shit! I did not want to fall yet. And the other one is... Over here somewhere. Maybe it's up? I thought that was it for a second. Ah. Okay, I've explored a little bit. Is this who I think it is? Is this the boss? There we go. No, teleporter, dumbass. <laughs> Stop me for a second. Oh, it's, I've already been in here. Now I see. Okay, good. I don't have to talk to them. That would get annoying every time. I have to make sure I had to select the right one every freaking time. Oh, Ayaka! Guess who fulfilled all your wishes? Hmm. Somebody else did. Ayaka! <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> Sorry, this is the Japanese related version, so yeah. There she is. Otherwise, I would say Nihau since it's a Chinese game. <laughs> Traveler, She's actually kind of cute. It is a pleasure to finally meet you both face to face. <laughs> I have heard all about how you helped our three friends. My sincerest thanks to you. Actually, we didn't really help at all. The damage done by... The damage done by losing a vision can't be completely undone. Uh, the, the, this one, because... Yeah. Short of getting them their visions back, it seems like there's no way to really help them. Um, Ayaka... How come this time you get to come out and meet us in person? <laughs> because now that you have done the three things I asked of you, I consider you to be my friends. As you will observe, I dispense with the screen for Toma also. Mm hmm. Wait a second. But isn't Toma your. um. servant? <laughs> Paimon's happy to help and all, but Paimon sure as heck did not sign up to be a servant. Oh. <laughs> Paimon, you are most entertaining. <laughs> Toma is first and foremost my friend, and was so before he ever became my attendant. Oh, okay then. Ayaka, you seem pretty different out in the open compared to how you are behind the screen. Hmm. Alright, we can be friends. Alright then. Friend request accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both kindly. Back to the matter at hand. You have now witnessed the pain of those deprived of their visions. What are your feelings on what you have seen? I hope that one day... I hope they can one day be free from their torment. It seems to be a fate worse than death. Uh, torment. <sighs> Perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the almighty Shogun, the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential. Thunders roar. Lightnings flash, the winds assault, and the rains descent. All these things take place with no regard for the feelings of the common people. But I believe that surely you understand what they must endure. It seems that perhaps now you can appreciate my feelings on all of this. In which case, 
Perhaps you would be willing to reconsider your stance? Thank you, Red Hot Dabs. I didn't know you weren't following yet. I thought you were. I swear I saw you do it already. <laughs> and thanks for the lurk. I will help you fight the Vision Hunt Decree. You will? Really? No! I was kidding! But you must keep the promise you made me. Naturally. <laughs> all right, bravo, my lady. You were right all along. See? I told you she wouldn't reject them. I placed my trust in the right person after all. Fucking fly. Now then, given that the remainder of our discussion pertains to matters of a more confidential nature, perhaps we can move to the Kamori Tea House? It's weird, Ill. It's not showing we up on here anymore. We ought not to involve other members of the Ashro Commission. I think I accidentally took it away whenever I got rid of something on here. I'll fix it well, later. Please continue without me. I'll keep watch. So, what's the deal with this place anyway? What makes it your favorite meeting spot? Because this the food. is a land that was gifted it's... to the Yashiro Commission <laughs> by the Shogun. I love the dog. The Kamisato clan has the exclusive right to plan, build, and repair any property on this land. And even to allow or deny access. Such privileges exist due to the Yashiro Commission's role in managing ceremonial affairs. Oftentimes, it is not appropriate to discuss details in front of bystanders. Oh, Paimon gets it? Gotta keep a bit of mystery, right? No. Once the number of ceremonial affairs conducted in the city began to decline, our forebearers built a tea house here. Only members of the Yashiro Commission are permitted to come and go as they please. Makes sense. Perfect place for a secret base. In any case, we can talk freely here. I presume you have a few questions that you wish to ask me? No, I wish to destroy you in combat. What kind of god is the Shogun? The Red and Shogun. The Almighty Shogun. I've seen her on but only a few occasions. Most of them formal ceremonies. She inspires awe, commands respect, and exudes a sense of absolute authority. But as I recall, there was something else about her that struck me even more deeply. It was her almost complete lack of any emotion. In that sense, she appeared to me to be less of a ruler and more of, well, an executive official, I suppose. Focused exclusively on her single goal of implementing eternity, acting accordingly without feeling. Is no one else fighting the Vision Hunt Decree? You have raised the formal objection to the Vision Hunt Decree? You know what I mean. The is issue anybody? is this. For the vast majority of people, the Vision Hunt Decree is something that has no implications whatsoever. After all, it is but a tiny disturbing. minority of people who receive visions. Moreover, it is not unknown for visions to spark jealousy in others. Because of this, the attitude of most people towards the Vision Hunt Decree is one of indifference. I can't get that off the like screen! That? Paimon's getting mad! I have to use soap and water to get it off, probably. In addition to us, there is also the resistance on Watch Could be because I'm island. slurping up the noodles. Resistance? <laughs> you mean like an army fighting against the Decree? <laughs> yes. Many who have lost or fear losing their visions have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. To say a little more about Sangonomiya, historically, there has always been some conflict between them and the shogunate of Narukami Island due to their different belief systems. But I do wonder whether there may be some other. One of them farted again and it's disgusting. Beyond me fighting the Vision Hunt oh. Decree. Have you raised a formal objection to the Vision Hunt Decree? Of course. We have tried on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, each time a proposal to repeal the decree arrives at Tenshikaku, it is promptly vetoed by both the Tenryo Commission and the Kanjo Commission, and subsequently scrapped. They invariably adopt a stance of unconditional support for the Shogun's decisions. They have no interest in discussing anything. 
It almost makes one wonder whether they had a hand in the Shogun's sudden decision to issue the Vision Hunt Decree. I have no further questions. Ooh, ooh, Paimon has a question, though. Oh? What would you like to know, Paimon? Have you got a plan yet to fight the Vision Hunt Decree? To be honest, we do not. What? Please, do not forget that challenging the Vision Hunt Decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. Coming yeah. to terms with that is already a difficult step to take. So, so what are we gonna do? Call Venti. Well, for the moment, all we can do is try and reduce the harm that is being caused by I'd this say decree. Zhong Li, but he for follows example, contracts. by providing vision bearers with safe refuge, or manufacturing counterfeit visions for them as a contingency measure. You're telling Paimon that there are people out there who can make fake visions? Don't underestimate the talents of the craftspeople in Hanamizaka. To the naked eye, their counterfeits are indistinguishable from the genuine article. And it mentions Venti right there. That's actually kind of cool that you they can create fake visions. Wait. If they can make fake visions, then what's the point of having the statues to get the visions? I guess that's only meant for my character getting the ability, but... What? I, I would really like to know more of the background on how these visions come to be now that there are fake artists out there that make these things. To be honest, I actually want to get some keychains um, to put on the wall of each elemental vision uh, of, with their unique shape and all because um, so far my favorite one is the one with the wings I think I think unless that's different for every character it doesn't matter. I still want to get them though must have been where Venti went I'm I kind of want one too no the problem we are facing right now is that Master Masakatsu, who was providing us with counterfeit visions, has recently been arrested by the Tenryo Commission. Darn! So they found out about it? <laughs> yes. We knew it was not a long-term solution, and that it was only a matter of time before it would be exposed. But we cannot simply abandon Master Masakatsu. He has saved many others. It's only right that he should be saved, too. Exactly. I feel the same way. But given Mine and Toma's identities as part of the Yashiro Commission, breaking him out of prison would risk dragging down the reputation of the entire Kamisato clan should we be caught. That would only serve to cast suspicion on any future activity we might seek to attempt. Why is that uh, the, the thing right there? You should have moved it up. Maybe they'll fix it later. So you're offloading that job to me, huh? <laughs> By no means do we intend to place the burden of such yeah, a task Yeah, it looks like it's different for each alone. one. When well, it's ready, dark. Go to Hanamizaka and look for a firework shop run by the Nagonohara family. These names. There, you will find someone. I will not remember. Here. I have a hard time rem For a while I had a hard time remembering Goku's name from Dragon Ball. I'm talking about um, uh, Kakarot version. And then I remembered Kakarot sounds like carrot. And then I found out that that's what it means. He's a vegetable. And I get an achievement. I need to start reading these achievements that I'm getting. Wait, can I just teleport? Yes, I can. Okay. I can't wait to get a new chair. I'm getting a new desk first, so that way I can put both monitors, my TV, and then my monitor, onto the desk. It's going to be a corner desk. But um, I'm going to try to get a background for it, too, so that way you guys just don't see a plain blue and or white background. I'm going to try to get some posters. Try is the keyword because the wall is made out of solid cement, and I can... Ugh. Excuse me, I can't poke a hole through it. I have to drill a hole through it. Huh. 
maybe posters. Maybe just be my soundproof phone. Hiya! Eh! Just hand it over. You don't want any trouble with me. Yeah, I do. If you think your elemental powers are enough to resist the Vision Hunt decree, then you'd better think again. Too late. Believe me, you're not the first of your kind we've encountered, and we've seen the same unpleasant outcome time after time. You'd best save yourself the trouble. Don't uh, give it to him. Can't you make an exception? I just got this vision. I won't even use it, I promise. So this is the Vision Hunt decree in action, huh? We can't no. just sit around and watch things unfold, can we? Yes, and we're going to. Let's move! Psst. Hey, wait! Wait, is this uh -huh. who I think it is? They it is her! To get that's, our attention. that's the one I want. Come on, this way! Come on! <laughs> I love it. Uh, what's going on? Can't you see we need to go help? Shh, quiet. Just sit tight and watch for a moment. Movies. This isn't right, you know. Just because you don't have a vision doesn't mean you can sit back and watch others in trouble. She has a vision. Uh, hey, wait. You do have a vision. Boobies. Shh. If you don't keep your voice down, I won't have one much longer. <sighs> all right, all right. Here, take it. <laughs> Wise choice. All right, let's go. I hope that when they're done with this what game... Yes, Pyro life? Queen. <laughs> Amber Slayer. <laughs> this is your fault. You're the one who stopped us from interfering. I want her. Many thanks, Miss Yoimiya. If you hadn't swapped me a fake just now, I'm sure I would have lost it. No worries. You put on quite the convincing performance. So the vision they took was the fake? Seems we've. We were fooled too. Oh, so that's what's going <laughs> I'm on you. <laughs> uh, think nothing of it. I could tell from your reaction that we were on the same side. You just didn't know it, you know? Oh, right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Yoi Mia, the current owner Yoi of Naganohara Fireworks. Mia. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Great to meet ya. Practically everyone on Hanamizaka knows Yoi Mia. She's the queen of the summer festival. Without her and her fireworks, That's why you summer said on Naganohara Island just wouldn't be the same. Hanjiro, you'll embarrass me. As for thanking me, you'd be better off thanking Master Masakatsu. He's the one that gave me the fake visions in the first place. His handiwork allowed me to keep my own vision. Whew, I can't even imagine trying to run the business without it. Whew. Yes, Master Masakatsu is a good man. It's too bad good people seldom get the recognition they deserve. Master Masakatsu? Huh? Do you guys know him too? Uh, 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 Miss Kamen, whatever, mentioned his name. We were just on our way to rescue him. You don't say. Then it sounds like the Shirasagi Himegimi has a plan. Awesome! I've been thinking about breaking him out too recently. But if I just march straight in there by myself, I'd probably get Miss Kamisato in a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> So, what about if I join you instead? Sure, welcome to the team. Ayaka told us to go look for help at a fireworks shop. She must have met you. <laughs> Seems like I finally got a new job to do. Uh, you know, besides hiding vision bearers in my shop, that is. <laughs> so, Master Masakatsu is being held at the police station. I've already surveyed the area and found a way in. Whoa, talk about a reliable source. Seems we've got the right person on our team. <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> Let's go as soon as everyone's ready. Don't worry, Master Masakatsu. We're on our way. Time to break him out. I think those two are going to get along. Shit. 
Oh shit. Yeah, I thought so. Faster to teleport. Both of those are fireworks. That looks like I could go this way anyway. Public safety notice. No, gotta go this way. Did I just enter a prison? I did this in front of the guards if this is the prison. Yes, actually it is. Lower than recommended? It's because of the loop. I need a fire. You want me on your team? And what was the other one that I needed? Certainly enough. And ice. To convince anyone to become a wanderer. Um. I think I can do Chunyo. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to do with what I have with this and use Banana as the healer. Just in case. The Luke was. Oh! The show's over here. I forgot about that. Start. Andy, stop scratching. certainly wouldn't want to end up locked away in here. Let's find Master Masakatsu and get out of here. We should split up. I've got a little present to prepare for Master Masakatsu. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, you sure? All right, then. Just be careful not to get caught. Too late. Yes, uh, you too. I thought I'd get to use her. That I get to sneak around. Into the wind. Damn, they didn't drop anything. I wanted to do some sneaking around. I really like doing that shit. He ran straight into that. Why am I doing it? Okay. As one with wind and Kind of stuck. Into the wind. Let's light it up. I dare you. gather. I'll spare you. Run with nature. Watch your step. Love doing this. I don't think I've done this on a stream yet.
just in case. Oh, I can't change. I like getting going through the fucking floor like that. If that was supposed to be a wall, and that looks suspicious at all, why the fuck do they have a staircase up to it? What strength? They're dead. <laughs> Close. Hey guys, how's it going? Battle for the lesson. Get them. The wind moves. Nowhere to hide. Everybody's dead. Order guide you. Don't hold back. What the fuck? Did he actually dash or did he just di uh, glitch? It's like I need to train harder. Wind strike, watch your step. That hurts. Block that. Incoming. Bested. Day. So close. Another third. I think I'm supposed to go up there. Yes. It did hurt, but not as much as I thought it was going to. Oh, what the? <laughs> Wind strike. Now, let's see what's up here. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, 
was weird. Brace yourself. Hey guys. Into the wind. What you've got? As one with wind and cloud. Get to the chase. We'll have order. Stabilize. Clear. Cut. One with nature. Cut. Don't hold back. I dare you. I'm going in. Clear. Cut. Tip. The wind knows. Train harder. I didn't even know if this was a thing. Is that where I came from? I thought it was this side I came from. Destroy them dummies. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of funny. You see him lag out like that, clip out, whatever. I have three of these now. What are you going to do over there? Oh. There we go. Now you fall. Cool. I thought somebody or something was going to happen. Is that seriously it? trick of yours could fool us <laughs> locking you up was just the beginning <sighs> no 
Oh no! Those Tenryo Commission fruits are torturing him! Where'd you come from? If we come up with a way to break him out fast, then... Yaimiya, when did you get back here? <laughs> Took her long enough. We can only grit our teeth for now. We need to ensure we have a means of escape. Uh, I can't bear to watch. If anything happens to Master Masakatsu, our whole plan will have been for nothing. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Ah, uh, ma'am. Ningwa? We, we oh, were just no. teaching him a little lesson. That's all. Huh? Who's that? You sound like Ningwa for a second. Kujo Sara. Adopted daughter of the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. What's she doing here? I think Kazuha mentioned her before. She also enforces the Vision Hunt decree. Make way. Let me have a look at him. I'm sure you're well aware that torture is strictly against military regulations. Yes, ma'am. If you are unashamed of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. Oh, I'm unsure I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. <laughs> hey, this is our chance. Let's move while they aren't watching Master Masakatsu. Yoimiya, are you sure now's the right time? <sighs> Who is that? It's your mom. Quick, go and investigate. Yes, ma'am. They're coming! Quick, hide! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. You're in trouble now. They'll find us for sure if we don't do something. <laughs> don't worry, I've got us covered. Time for my little present. An explosion? Yes. It, it sounded like fireworks. Quick, let's hurry. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Oh, the fireworks were enough to distract them. Uh, maybe more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> fireworks aren't just for festivals, you know. Nice work. I knew you'd count on you. <laughs> I was particularly proud of this batch. I decided to add more. Oh, <laughs> a bit of a fireworks display. <laughs> well, fireworks are my craft after all. <laughs> Every batch has to be spectacular. <laughs> I'm beginning to think this wasn't only intended as a distraction. Well, those guards deserve that. Uh, what they got? Uh, let's Look, do the, the first one. Now's our chance! Oh, this is where it came from. <laughs> ah, shit. Yoimiya, is that you? No. Master Masakatsu! Sorry we took so long. Oh, those awful guards. Come on! We've got no time to lose! They could be back any minute! Oh. You were over there watching us this whole time, weren't you? Yes. Leave. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate medical attention. But remember, once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Uh, hmm. well, uh, you can bet we'll do all we can to keep that from happening. Thank you. We will protect Master, whatever it is. Leave this place.
Oh, oh, what the? All right, I got about, what is this, like 10 minutes? Yeah, that's what I thought it was leading to. Geronimo! There was a floor. Oh, wait a sec. I can't... I can't believe I walked past those guards at the entrance of this prison. I'm surprised that he was the only one in here. <laughs> We're finally out of that creepy place. Yes. Finally, I've made it out of there. Master Masakatsu, how do you feel? Can you hold on? Don't worry. I think I can make it to the infirmary without keeling over. <laughs> Thank you. All of you. I'll take him to get treated. I'll treat you to a round of drinks once this is all over. I don't drink. Don't worry about us. Just take care of Master Masakatsu. <sighs> Good thing we were able to rescue him. Luke was on our side this time. All thanks to that person. Right, Kujasara. Do you think she was making up for how the guards were treating him? It seems Possibly. as though there are some okay people among the ranks of the Tenryo Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Paima would never agree with their actions in the Vision Hunt Decree, of course. Yeah. How about we go tell Ayaka and the others the good news? Jail heist. Jail house. Something. Um. Festa. Feista. Okay, so these are just missions. It's actually what the <laughs> time limit that says on there. It says 223. It's supposed to be two. Yeah, there it goes. 224 now. And that's what time it is. It's 224. I started almost right at noon. I'm going to make this my last thing to do. Stop the stream. Come back later. I see. I'm hungry. So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would appear she still has some honor to her. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps mm -hmm. we could coax out some information. Possibly. Unlikely. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt Decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. In her eyes, Master Masakatsu is of no threat to the Decree. This is why she was so willing to allow his escape. If our true motives were ever divulged, she would act against us without a second thought. True. Though, if you ask me, Master Masakatsu's release is an unexpected blessing. We are now one step closer to victory. And we couldn't have done it without Yoimiya and the Traveler. <laughs> You're turning out to be even more reliable than we expected. Thanks for the compliment. I missed the button. <laughs> Don't mention it. Indeed. Things may have turned out very differently this time without the help of the Traveler. But if we wish to mount any sizable resistance against the Vision Hunt Decree, there is still much to be done. It is time we make ready our next set of plans. There's no need to rush, my lady. Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, but our list of allies appears to be growing. Uh, yes, which reminds me. The Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. And the number of samurai out enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. 
A ceremony, you say? Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I don't know, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. Anyway, with the Tenryo Commission busy with preparations, we should have a little more breathing room than usual. Hmm. You do present a good point. <clears throat> Being in a constant state of alert will only tire us further. Perhaps a period of rest is in order. Toma, what would you suggest? I'd say a celebratory feast is in order. Might I suggest an evening of hot pot together? <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. A hot pot game? What's that? Well, as long as it has to do with eating. <laughs> Simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Once the meal begins, we add all the ingredients together. Then we take it in turns to close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Anyone who guesses correctly can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. Tradition even has it that the winner receives blessings from the god of hot pot. Don't you think it sounds like fun? <laughs> I've been wanting to give it a try. In fact, I've already got my ingredients prepared. You really do want to play, huh? Well, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. That sounds like a fun game. Some ingredients. But what should we choose? Everything. Let's stick to the classes. Let's be Team Daredevil. Ooh, Paimon proposes we gather raging demon level giant chilies. Hell yeah. For salty ham. Uh. Mist flower corollas. This is already shaping up to be a hot pot to remember. I thought she would like that. Oh, my stomach. It feels like you and me as fireworks are going off inside me. So we did use the well, jelly. The the hot, spicy jelly. He ate practically all those weird ingredients without a second thought. Uh, Toma? You okay, buddy? No, he's dying. Some crusted herring. One ripe lavender melon. A flash boiled dongo. Oh, and whatever that thing was that nearly froze my tongue off. <laughs> oh, hold up. My life is starting to flash before my eyes. Time I call it a night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame, Toma. All those strange things you ate were ingredients you added yourself. But weren't you the one who added those little cakes, Ayaka? <laughs> I think the traveler ended up eating one. Boiling cakes in hot pot. Ugh. Think of the texture. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. Uh-oh. I'm definitely not okay. <laughs> uh, I need to lie down. <laughs> He's dying. <laughs> After a while. <sighs> I feel like a new man. You know, Toma, all you had to do was guess wrong on purpose and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pot's blessing. She wanted Perhaps to eat I too. I did get a little carried away. Still, I couldn't be beaten at my own game first time around. I think my luck has already taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. So without further ado, I hereby declare that the winner of today's hot pot challenge is me. Oh, me. brother. <laughs> I like that. Oh, good effort, team. Another important job taken care of. Next on the agenda, some well-earned rest and relaxation. Yes. If the Tenryo Commission truly is as busy with preparations as Toma claims, then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. And with the extra time, there are some other matters I wish to attend to. Let's all take some much-needed time off. After a few days' rest, we'll reconvene at the Komori Tea House and discuss our next operation. Downtime is hard to come by these days, so be sure to make the most of it. I'll tidy things up here and start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> There's gonna be a sequel? <laughs> sure, why not? We should play again now that everyone knows the rules. I'll see you all later. Bye, There's Toma. gonna be a sequel? Hmm. Seems we won't need to be visiting the Kamori Tea House for a while. Why don't we go explore some other places? <sighs> oh. Well, Act 2? No, it was Act 1. I think it's finally done.
There's Act 1. Now on to Act 2. Well, since that's the end of the act, I'm gonna leave the tea house. This way. Since I'm all done with that, I'm about to take off, grab myself something to eat, and I'll be back by four o'clock. Let's say that it's two thirty. What? Go from here? What's the plan? Traveler, Paimon, hold on. Huh? Ayaka? What's the matter? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. Uh huh. But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission or the Kamisato Clan. It is my own individual request. Individual request? You mean personal stuff? Correct. D no shit. It concerns my mother. This may seem a little sudden, but in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. Can you give me any more details? A few days ago, you just I was sorting met through me. some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. She wrote about all kinds of things. Mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently, it makes it difficult for me to ignore. Probably your mom's best buddy, right? You're really never... You'd really never heard the name before. Not once. Never. And although my mother and father passed away many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. So, I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality, who liked to have fun. Paimon thinks it sounds like a girl's name. That's what I thought, too. So what do you want us to do? It's an affair. Do you need us to find her for you? No, no. Her address is given in the notebook. We can head straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. Please okay. keep everything I have told you in strict confidence. The proper course of action would be to involve my brother and visit her together. But he is terribly busy at present, and... On a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Hence why you came to me, an outlander. Exactly. That, and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people. Not to mention trustworthy. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. You can count on us! We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment, just treat us to some delicious food and we'll be more than happy. The audio Wonderful. sucked for that. In fact, I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around, if you don't mind, of course. Oh, we don't mind. We don't mind at all. Do we? Not in the slightest. Her audio sucks coming? right now. Should Why? Ogura Textiles and Kimonos is our first stop. She sounds echoey. All right, sounds great. Why does she sound like that? Oh my god, that's terrible. Everything was good until she started talking during this. I'm not the only one that noticed it, am I? Well, that's it for now. I was just going to come out and explain everything and stuff like that. I got to make a quick video after this so that way I can um, try to start it at least. I have a couple things I got to be doing. I got to take my dog out for another walk. I got to eat. I got to watch a couple shows. Apparently something is premiering in 30 minutes. Less than 30 minutes now. It's like 20 minutes now. And uh, I really want to see this because I... I'm very invested in this, and um, I'll be back by 4 o'clock at the latest. If I'm back later than that, it's because something happened, like Wi-Fi, or my computer just crashed, like it did the last time. But until next time, guys, I'll be seeing you guys on the same Fox channel, same Fox time. Yeah, where's my mouse? Right there. Alright, bye.